In today's video, I'll be covering how to create that cinematic look within your photos and videos using solely CapCut on your mobile device. As you know, today in the social media world, short form content is the key to success and a great skill for everyone to learn whether or not you are a filmmaker or not. I did want to preface this by saying that the sole source footage that you're editing with plays a huge role in how your final sequence turns out. The footage I'm going to be showing within this video was shot on the iPhone 11, so a couple of generations back, in a city called Shibuya in Japan. So with that being said, let's jump into CapCut. As soon as you import a project, um, the first thing what I do is I switch up the default settings, which is 1080p, I switch that to 2K to 4K, uh, raise up the code rate, as well as turn off the Smart HDR. This is the settings that I've found to have worked and works great with uh, Instagram Reels and TikTok. So these are the settings I pretty much mostly always use. So the main thing I do with basically all of my video edits and Reels and TikToks is I always create a base adjustment layer, which basically just uh, re-represents what I actually seen in the moment when capturing these clips. So to do that, what I do is I don't select any clips scroll on the bottom bar there until you see adjust click that and then that would automatically add a, another layer of adjustment that you can affect all of your clips within the sequence with this i'm just going to bring the brightness down a touch probably raise up the contrast as well as play with the temperature so from what i remember it was a little bit cooler as it was in blue hour and something like that does the trick Bring the shadows down, maybe bring up the highlights a bit. And just with that basic adjustment, you can see what it's done. And this is just how I remember when I was filming these clips. So I'm gonna accept that. And as you can see down the bottom there, there's that purple bar, which you can drag over multiple clips if needed. So I've got that base color adjustment finalized and that pretty much just balances out the clip for me to go ahead and add that color grade onto. So to do the color grade, what I do is I select the film clip. I scroll down the bottom until I see adjust just like before. And then this is where the magic happens. So basically what I start off with is because the, the clip is already balanced, then I go ahead and start making the color grade. So to do that, scroll over until you find graphs. And what this does is it brings up a curves adjustment. If you're new to curves adjustment, basically it selects certain parts of your image, starting from highlights, midtones, and your shadows. And this allows you to adjust each part of that section within the clip and tweak it to how you like it, as well as add color within those parts of that clip. So here's an example. Okay, so you've got the graph that starts down from your shadows, midtones in the middle, and then your highlights up the top. Pretty much with all of my edits and adjustments, I always add three points from the shadows, midtones, and the highlights. So I add a point just on these indexes, and I'll go ahead and do that same thing on the red, green, and blue hues. And what that's doing is it's allowing me to select certain parts of the midtones, shadows, and the highlights that I can adjust and tweak to how I like it. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go over to that white tab, which is basically your shadows, midtones, and highlights without affecting the color. And I'm just going to bring down the shadows a touch as well as bring up the lowest key point on the shadows, which gives it that little bit of a fade. Next, I'm going to bring those midtones down just a touch and bring up those highlights. With your clips, it's going to be quite different. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the types of footage that you shoot with will affect the, you know, the overall feel of your cinematic grade. Okay, something like that will do. You can always come back and adjust these points later on down the line. Now I'm gonna head over to my red and in introduce a little bit of that blue grainy hue to it. Do the same thing with the green. And you just want to adjust these to your liking and what you feel suits the type of film that you're going for. 
Cool, so I'm happy with that. If you're happy with those adjustments, just click on the arrow here and that will bring down the rest of the adjustments. Okay, so pretty much with that being set, as you can see the before and after, there's a quite a dramatic difference, but as you can see, it's not quite there yet. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring up the highlights just a touch. I'm gonna bring down the shadows a touch. Actually, I might bring up the shadows and then I'm going to create a vignette that draws your eye into the center. Hue, you can play around with that as you need. I feel like it doesn't actually need hue adjustment. Temperature, might not even need it because we did most of our color adjustments within that graphs curves adjustment. Add a little bit of sharpening as I always do. And then I'm gonna bring and introduce a little bit of contrast. And as you can see, that does make quite a dramatic difference. What I'm not liking in this is mostly that red and pink uh, color within the, the, the billboard sign. So I'm just gonna try and manipulate that to create a different hue. So the reds and the magentas, something like that. And I wanna make those yellow uh, kind of key color points, just a little bit of an orange color to them. Cool, happy with that. And to see the before and after, just hold on the image above and that will show you the before and the after. Cool, I'm happy with that. Uh, next thing I want to do, I'm just going to jump back into that graphs again and create and tweak it just that little bit further. As you can see, this does take a little while, but the great thing about CapCut is once you nail this uh, color grade, you can apply that to all the clips within that sequence, which is fantastic. I think something like that is quite nice. Maybe a little bit more of a vignette. And obviously this just comes down to personal preference. I tend to like a lot of my photos and videos quite dark and moody um, and and that's pretty much it. Maybe a little bit of sharpening and a touch of contrast. Okay, so once you have finalized your color grade and you're happy with how it is looking, feel free to obviously copy these settings and see how it looks on your own footage. Once you get to that final stage of your color grade that you're happy with, as you can see down the bottom, there is an apply to all icon. So you click that. So it does exactly what it says. It applies those effects to the other clips within that sequence. Click that and check mark. And as you can see, that color grade has been affected on that second clip as well. So just for example, the adjust, and that's the before and after for that clip with that color grade. So with this one, I wanna bring down the, bring up the vignette a little bit just to darken it that touch and probably bring down the brightness. So I'm happy with that and I think that looks quite cool and quite different. Maybe those cyans are a bit much, so I'm just gonna bring, go back in there and tweak that a little bit. Uh, we'll go hue saturation. Cool. just like that so as you can see it goes from quite a boring uh standard video clip into something a little bit more cinematic uh that evokes more of an emotion 
uh, to your overall sequence. So that's the basics of how I really go about color grading my footage. Uh, just in CapCut, it is quite simple and easy to use. If you haven't used an editing software like this before, this is a great app that allows you to get into the world of filmmaking and color grading, uh, which is quite powerful just using a mobile device. With that being said, thank you very much for watching. And if you did enjoy this video, or if you'd like for me to expand on any anything within this video, please feel free to comment that below and I'll be sure to consider it for my next video. So with that being said, thank you very much everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.